Hi everyone, I'm Christopher Walker and today we're going to be talking about the send and archive feature that you have within your Gmail account. Now to get the send and archive feature, you're going to have to go into your settings. So you're going to go up to the top right hand corner and click on the gear or the settings and then scroll down and click on settings. Now this is going to open up this new screen for you and you're going to scroll down until you see the send and archive um, little row there. Now when you set up a Gmail account, it automatically sets um, this setting as hide send and archive button in reply. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to click on show send an archive button in reply and then we're going to scroll down to the bottom and click save changes. Now what this is going to do is when you click into an email um, and then you go to the right side and click that back arrow, that reply, um, you'll notice that when you um, go in, type your message, that below it you now have two options for sending. The first one is your new option, that's that send an archive. And what this is going to do is um, it's going to send your reply message to whoever it needs to go to, and then it's going to archive the whole message um, so that it's no longer in your inbox. But again, don't worry with archive messages. All you have to do to find them again is go up to the top and use the search mail um, piece right here. Now the other option, that second option, the white button, is um, the regular send button. So if you type out your reply and click send and use this button, it's going to send your reply, but then your um, message is still going to stay in your inbox for you to view later. So I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to add the send and archive feature to your Gmail.